let's define the glycocalyx. It's nothing more than the carbohydrate or glycoprotein layer, most of which is covalently associated with the cell membrane, with the bilipid layer. So you see here integral membrane proteins covalently linked to oligosaccharide sugars. There are also adsorbed glycoproteins that are considered part of the glycocalyx. The adsorbed proteins are not covalently linked and are more easily removed from cell membranes, for example, by um, heating them a little bit to increase thermal motion. But most of the sugars and proteins are covalently linked to proteins embedded in the membrane, transmembrane proteins. We also see here proteoglycans, which differ from glycoproteins mainly in having longer oligosaccharide chains, but otherwise they're substantively very similar to regular glycoproteins. The glycoproteins and proteoglycans end up on the extracellular surface of cell membranes, accounting for the fact that cells are sugar-coated, and they get these sugars during transit through the endomembrane system, which you may recall includes rough endoplasmic reticulum, the cis and trans Golgi vesicles, and secretion vesicles at the end of this pathway.